Hello everybody and welcome back to... Well, not really welcome back. Well, welcome to the first installment of RPG Maker Saturdays. Okay, I know you're thinking, what the heck am I talking about? Well, this is a concept idea I had. For every Saturday, I cover an RPG Maker game and I play through it completely. Not in one day, it'll take a couple sessions. But, like, three episodes a, a Saturday. Anyway... I picked this one out of a random group of them, and I thought maybe this would work. Other than that, I don't really know. Okay, but this, like, after this game, I'll take your submissions, your ideas, things you guys recommend to play. Only rules are they have to be made by RPG Maker, and I have to obtain them. Be able to get to them, you know. Also, if you make an RPG Maker game, I'd love to play on the channel. It'd be fun. Yeah. So without further ado, let's get on with Doom and Destiny. Let's go classic. I don't know the controls. <laughs> the story we are to tell is fictionary. All characters and events appearing in this work are fic fictitious. Any resemblance to real per persons, living or undead, is purely coincidental. Purely coincidental. My lord! Preparations have been finished. What? Excellent. In this, is this is the flux capacitor at maximum power? I'm guessing this is a game full of jokes. I just picked it out of a couple of RPG Maker games I had. Absolutely, my lord. And the four elemental mana crystals. Overflow with energy, my lord! Yeah, we can tell that. Marvelous. My plan is finally coming together. The gates to the under ultra world are about to be opened. We just need a virgin's blood, and then... The universe will be mine! <laughs> Actually... I had such dreadful ex from this, this experiment that I la last night I had a party and what yep great party it was an awesome br it was awesome bro I got laid no way me too high five this cannot be <laughs> what <laughs> oh the virgin wasn't a virgin <laughs> that's kind of funny Sellers and Lizards, Episode 1. What? Achievement! <laughs> awesome! Role playing! Awesome! Role playing! Big night! I hope we'll start a new DD &D campaign. I'm so excited. Calm down, Nigel. Benjamin, the Game Master, told me that he wanted to play something different. Something that's not the usual D&D. Of course. What are you sure, Mike? Crap. I spent the entire afternoon filling out the character sheet for tonight. Oh, Easy, Johnny. I don't know why I'm British now. Yeah, Francis is right. Chillax, Johnny. It's just a game. Last time I heard the Master... He told me exactly the same. He wants to play something new. Come on, guys, let's go inside. That guy is now British. Use the arrow keys to move your hero around. Left shift to walk. Hold left shift. Left shift to walk. And Z button interact with surrounding objects. Okay. Press escape to open the menu at any time. Okay. Oh, we're a we're a team. A team of Nigel's car. Nothing. Mailbox. Stash of consumer complaints. It seems like Benjamin doesn't care about it that much. Oh well. Okay. Bush. Tree. What's this? What's this? What's this? Nothing. Oh gosh darn it. There should be goodies in there. I demand there be goodies. You have a shovel. Why should we pick up this shovel? It might be useful. Yeah. Yes, in a muck. In a muck. Good. I'm going to get my voice to confuse too much in this game. 
What the? Oh, that's a light. I thought I shouldn't be able to go underneath that car. Car. Wood. Barrel. Da, da. That looks like a door. I can go inside. Is this Benjamin's cellar? Well, it is where that should be, but it's different from usual. Guys, did you notice the dragon statues? This place looks cleaner. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Guys, the statues are strange. I haven't seen them before. Perhaps they are just scenery parts for Benjamin's game. That's why he cleaned the whole room. Awesome. Oh, boy. Wow, no door here. Where the heck did it go? Guys, I shall... Uh, nothing. You found potato chips. Num nums. Nothing. I can go for some potato chips. Who can go for potato chips? We found lo loca cola. Loco cola. Why did I do that? Is this the? What is this stuff? The door is locked. You need a red key. That's where the door to the game master's playroom is locked. It says we need a red key. This stuff looks up like a bunch of instructions for a role-playing game. Doom and Destiny. D and D. Boring. So, do you want to hear it or not? Yeah, I want to hear. It looks like a standard RPG. You'll just have to go around collecting keys, open doors and chests, and apparently even wardrobes and closets you kill. You kill monsters and upgrade into new levels. through are experience points. Ain't that cool? Sounds good. Go back to the upgrading part. How does it work? It says that when you gain a new level, the player can use three points to increase the four main attributes. Might, Charisma, Grit, and Dexterity. Any special powers? Let me see. Yes, it says that you fi can find a and buy special powers for each character that can be equipped and removed whenever you want. Still, in order to equip each power requires a certain number of power points, which are based on ability scores. So the higher my ability scores are, the more power points I get, and the more powers I can equip? Yes, you are right. I am amazed. One power point when our when a base ability score has hits 15, another when it hits 21. Next, 38, 36, 35, and so on. Sounds easy. Cool. In order to avoid messing up, as we usually do, we need, when we play an RPG, we have to decide which role each one should, have, should pick. I'll play a super sorcerer warlock leader bat awesome hero with a high charisma. Okay. And look what I found here. Power for my class. He found magic missile. <laughs> what? <laughs> Lucky devil. Now I can cast a magic missile if I equip this power. Um, come on, try it. Um, powers. Nigel. Boom. Boom. Awesome! Okay, X is back, okay. I want to play a fighter with tons of might. I'll play a nimble and honorable ninja. Dexterity is my second name. Mike, you're the last one. We need a healer. Why don't you play a cleric? Yeah, without a healer, it's getting really hard playing an RPG. I'm a pirate. Yeah! <laughs> What are you, nuts? You can't be a pirate while I'm a ninja. There's a chance that all life as you know it would instantly stop. And that every molecule in your body explodes at the speed of light. Come on! We need a pirate and a ninja in the same freaking team! Come on, people! He is right. Whatever he said. Plus, we need a healer. Come on! We. What about cool paladin devoted to mighty and vengeful god? Well, what about a pirate who is a pal who is a paladin of a god who is a huge flying mo monster n made of spaghetti? This is this is role playing. You can be anything you want. Let him be a pirate. Whatever. Yeah, the important thing is don't mess everything up as usual. Arr. Yeah, it was yeah, but I'm going arr. One, la one last thing. We need a leader. Yeah. Why? Because during a battle, according to whatever. Where we decide to fight, whether up front or to the rear line, 
The leader can give different types of bonuses. And what if I wanted to stay in the middle? No bonus for those who stay in the middle. Being the most charismatic guy of our party, as a leader, I boost mana and spirit. What a wimp. Being the strongest among us, I boost health and strength. What a bunch of slowpokes. The real deal is evasion and speed. What about you, Mike? I don't know. Come on, make up your mind. I think grit is the most important quality in the event an adventurer, so I think I'll boost resistance and unfortunate states stat states and critical hits. That's cool. What? You know, uh yeah, you know, resistance to positioning, confusion, burning abilities down, and so on. And chance to double your damage. With a critical hit. Sounds useless. That's actually very useful. I do not know what you're talking about. Uh I, who was your name? Red, red Goode, guy in red shirt. You are useless. Don't expect me to help when the evil jinxing monster hits you. Yeah, he's right. Come on, let's choose the leader. Okay, I, I got. I got. Oh, ooh. Okay, he gets a negative in the back. He gives plus but negative crit in front. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. Okay, I got two resistance and plus two crit. I'm a leader, yeah! Okay. I think we are done, but I'll take these handbooks with us, just in case we need to revise the rules of the game. Okay. Oh, how did he become a leader? Okay, that's how I get to that. Oh, that's how you do it. I see. Just getting used to it. Pirate, warrior, ninja, magus. Okay. Actually, I think I'll leave, leave Mike as the leader because resistance and crit, man. Resistance and... You have found beer! Yeah! Beer! A stash of old 80, 80s porn magazines. Nothing useful here. What? I picked the wrong game. I don't care. Onward! Uh. Wow, check this out. A monster! Rajap! What did that say? Let's kick its butt before it manages to change our minds. Attack the skeleton! Ah! These guys weren't much at M match for the great ninja Nigel. Your party found two goals. Current goals. Goal, goal, always believe in your soul. Side quest, dead or alive. Oh hey! And our natural expressions. Freaking fun! We beat a skeleton! Who is that lava flowing down there? Or is it magma? I can't remember the difference. Okay, there's actually a very... Never mind, I could get into that for hours. Okay, we got a side quest. They're alive. Defeat ten undeads. Okay, I can do that. Did you hear that? What? Random encounters! Jerks! Plus left control in battle to use the T... Triple T Turbo. Your party will blindly attack the first target at a double to game speed. Press space bar... Okay. Hmm. No. 
I got monies. Ah! Stop attacking the dude! I'll need to meditate on our tactical flow. See, do I got any equipment inventory? Hmm. Give the warrior a shovel. Two by four to the pirate. And a bone to the ninja. the ninja because they keep attacking the ninja. I found wine. I found potato chips. I'm gonna go this way. Pro tip, save often. You can do it in the menu screen. Okay. Sunglasses. Sweet. My speed? Oh, my SP. Whoa! Out of nowhere, aren't ya? potato chips. I like to finish the side quest, though, before I do any further, because I'm, I'm just, like, afraid that if I don't, I'm gonna fail the side quest, because there might be something happen in the next room. God dang! Tough? Tough guy, ain't he? Okay, skill. Magic missile! Ay, ay, ay. Dead or alive? Another. That looks good. That side mission's over. Let's keep moving on. I was right. There's something going on in this room. Found another tankard. Instantly give that to someone. Give 
to you. That looks suspicious. Touch it. Can't push this way. That's what I call a hole. Is this the way to go ahead? Why not? We can't go down without a ladder or a rope. Shoot. Look, a picture of Benjamin, our game master. Look at the way he's smiling. Loser, where the heck are you now? Dealing with zombies. This one. Boom! Where the heck's my crit chance? You promised me doubling my crit chance. Aha! He missed! Ninja power! Um... to the quest? Nothing. Crap. I found cardboard helmet. We are armed and ready. Oh boy, they got a mage guy who shoots ice! So there's a quest for killing so many. Mike learned heal brews. Yeah, so cool, but what's that? Come on, Mike, equip the new power. Hmm, wait, I think I can't do that right now. I still don't have any ability score higher than 15. Oh boy, you're so hard, man. We told you not to mess around, but you never listen. Sometimes I fear you would, could be deaf. Chillax, guys, it's just a game. Next level, I'll be up, set an ability above 15, so I can equip this gosh darn power. So we still don't have a healing move. Got potato chips. Finding random money on the floor. Random monies. Orange juice. Potato chips. Pot top. Crap. Fire! Fighter! Ah! V for victory, huh? Yay! Hey, we all leveled up to level 3. That seems like, uh, okay, okay, he doesn't have an ability higher than... Does this work? 15, and let's go for. Yeah, it's the lowest level, so let's give it that. Okay, he has a fighter thing, so. Two into that, and give him one into. Awesome. Okay, real quick. You don't have a weapon. Okay, it's a utility item that boosts HP. Let's give it to you. Pot top. Oh, that's a utility item that also boosts H. Boost HP. Yeah, carbon helmet's better. Wait! Powers. Heal bruise. He's a healing pirate. <laughs> that is great. Uh, I've always wanted a cleric pirate. 
Okay, so I can't go this way, so I must have to go that way. Just makes sense. Locked, but the opening mechanism is on the other room. It's in another room. Ooh, rope. I found rope. Yeah, rope! Sweet, now I can go down. Ow! Fear my shovel! Okay, so there's different stages to these side quests. I'm guessing they keep going up and up. Ow. Ow. That was a crit! So I see a goal here in grinding. You just get a lot of good, useful... Here's a rope! Got Mike, our leader. Our pirate. Oh, he's a pirate. What are these? I can't touch it. Nothing. Uh, nothing. Monsters. Monsteromatic. Wait, there might be a, a trap. Chillax, there can be traps without a war. There can't be traps without a warning. So that's how monsters are created. No side quest for that, okay. Ay ay ay! the door. Now ah, we're in a different room. I'm surprised these guys aren't thinking he deserved to die. He was a... Oh. Dead died while best te beta testing. Poor guy. Picking up all this cash. Died because he haven't brought Doom and Destiny full... Haven't bought full... <laughs> Died after playing D and D for twelve hours in a row. God bless the soul. What are you looking at? I want that shovel. Two by four. Shovel. Died because he was dead. Pretty straightforward there. Died because he hacked D Doom and Destiny. Oof. Ah! God dang it! Did I just run away. Died. Peeling a banana. It was a very big one. Died because he di did not pay attention to the electric electrified floor. <laughs> not really watch out. No, really, watch out for the electrified floor. What electrified floor? Ah, da, 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 da. Ouch, that cool! That I, I found the electrified floor. That's not cool. What am I from Banjo Kazooie? <laughs> Destroyed electrified floor. Found bear. Found potato chips. God dang it! Did I lose any health from this? God dang it, I'm almost dead. What? Screw it. I'm walking through it. Huh. Now I think I'll call it here for an episode, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you're enjoying this series and the idea of RPG Maker Saturdays. Until further ado, I'll catch you all later. Toodles!